Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. This time we'll be continuing right where we left off in some quantum break, but this time everything is loaded in so we don't have any pixelated objects. Let's go ahead and continue onwards. I don't quite know where I'm supposed to go. Let's quickly take a look. Alright, so we got some, some objects here that we can take a look at. Okay. Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Uh, let's go ahead and open this as well. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Now I. Oh, what is that? Alright, so we have to go ahead and get to Serene at the dry docks. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Once again, that guy is back at it with some absolutely stupid things that he's doing. I, why would you access the internet when you are basically on the run? You're a fugitive. Let's go ahead and spam through this really fast. But I, I mean, like I, I, I've mentioned this quite a lot in the last video. Just what if, man? It's it's one of those things where like, what if I just didn't open that door or what if I just didn't make that one decision and I would have never met the guy and I probably would have met someone else that's slightly smarter I'd have to say Nick you still there <sighs> shit take care of some more emails this one's shorter than usual well, we are about a little under halfway through all the narrative objects so apparently uh, it seems like this act is quite big, or at least uh, at least this part is that big. I'm not quite sure. I think each of the uh, the objectives, or kind of like these narrative objects, go by acts and not by uh, not by parts, or or kind of like little mini episodes. But let's go ahead and continue. See if there's anything else. Okay, explosives. That is wonderful. Well, you know what we're supposed to do. All right, let's. There we go. That's how you open doors, guys. No need. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Can't take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around Ground Zero. Roger. Oh great. Well, how do we get up there? That's the question. Well, it's right there. I wonder if we just climb, because it wasn't letting me, letting me move anyway. Nope. That's not working. Let's see. We gotta find a way up. Find a way through the garage. <gasps> you know what? Smart. There we go. Before the explosion. Oh, but this time, they're just able to open the door. Oh well. Alright, let's, let's double check everything around here. Because if I miss something, I don't want to have to to meet another person. Like, I believe his name is Nick. To, to meet another person like Nick, because he kind of hurts my brain a little bit. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there. 
and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. You know what, guys? This guy's going to take it deep. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around ground zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? University incident got HQ wetting their pants. The Let's listen to him a little bit. And so we got an AR there. We have five enemies to take down. You know what? This guy's going to take it deep with the shotgun. Oh, damn. All right, we're going to we're going to pop them. There we go. He's going to take that one to the face. No. Oh, damn. This thing's got no range at all. Oh my days. Oh my days. Run. But right, guys, that's not how I wanted to start off this video. We we're going to try this again. All right, that is good. One more, right? Right, he's right over there. Oh no, it's game over. See you later, buddy. Take a nice nap. I still can't get over that slow motion, man. That thing is freaking awesome. Well, what's over there? Did I miss something? Oh damn, I probably missed something. Oh, where'd you come from? What is this shit? Oh, I can shoot through him. No. Alright, let's crack this one more time. This should probably end it. Oh, what? One more guy? What is this shit? What is this shit? Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. I'm cornered. Alright, well, that's one down. What I'm going to do is boom. Oh, that would have been disastrous. He's got to be good. Oh, no, I've trapped myself, guys. This isn't good. This isn't good. Where is he? All right, wait for it. Now, this should get him. That should be game. That should be game for him. Perfect. Let's quickly go pick up some ammo. No. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep, 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 we gotta go for that. Where is he? Oh, headshot! Damn, good job, son. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, we're good. We're good. Disaster averted. Striker 1, we're experiencing signs of an incoming stutter. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. You gotta pick all these up, and then a stutter's coming in, so... Perfect, guys. This is perfect timing. Wait, what? They're loud in the stutter? I thought they can't move well in the stutter. What is this? Don't tell me they've got powers too. Shit. Maybe they've got powers, guys. Who knows? Oh, you know it's because we're ground zero. Makes so much sense. <laughs> I'm still trying to shoot at them like it actually matters. Quickly, let's let's take a look at what's around us. See if there's anything we can pick up before, before we gotta go. Alright, perfect. Jump over. Paul developed technology for his men to move through stutters. We knew the fracture would occur. Oh, great. He never tried to stop it. Guys with powers. Well, not really powers, they kind of just have suits that allow them to, to kind of manipulate while they're here. Oh, shit! Yeah, so I don't think any powers like this are going to gonna be useful at all in this situation. So it's kind of just, uh, uh, so it's kind of just staying on the move, guys. 
Well, that's one dead. Where's the other one? I oh, know this guy's gonna take it. Time to reload. Nope, 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 nope. What are you thinking, buddy? What are you thinking? Alright, so if I shoot this, I remember that it kind of uh, messes with time a lot more. Man. These guys are pain in the asses. Shit. Gotta hide behind something solid. Can't be doing this, man. It's like a... Alright, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh. What? I don't get this, guys. This is crazy. This is absolutely madness. I need something. Please. Oh, you better get your ass out, buddy. Where's everyone? I don't see them. Oh, great. They're all in... They're all in... In a horde right over there. Oh shit! I'm shooting everything but them. This isn't good. Oh shit! Where'd he go? Oh, that that had to. I mean, they're still normal people. This should still be killing them. Like headshots should still work. I don't get it. No, I think we gotta. We gotta start playing rough, guys. We gotta start. Oh shit, I guess. I guess because they have powers too, that doesn't. None of my powers work. I'm basically rendered useless, so I have to rely on my actual you shooting. Told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Go ahead and get the hell out of here, guys, because this is pretty freaking odd. It's the only way forward. What else can we can we catch while we're here that'll help us help us improve the storyline? Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. See, even when time is broken, rules are still meant to be broken. What is this? What the hell, hell? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? This is pure madness, guys. Everything's gone to shit. I specifically requested copper clad Niobium. Well, there's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't, do, don't this. do this. Hello, hello. This is some next level craziness, guys. 
Holy crap, this is fast forward on crack right now. What the hell? Let's just keep moving. Countermeasure. I hope to God this works. Will. It's gone. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. Escape from broken time. How the hell do we do that? This is some mad juju shit. Some this is black magic. This ain't even broken time. What the hell is this? Holy shit. Forewarning guys, if you have epilepsy, you shouldn't play this game. I'm helping you guys out. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. 17 years. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. 17 years of this broken time crap. That is that is absolutely ridiculous. Facebook? 8 out of 13 narrative objects found. The thing that sucks about this game is it's really hard, at least for myself, to find a good place to, to, to stop because of the fact that there are a lot of cutscenes and there are a lot of things that I feel like if I end the video there, then, uh, then you're missing out on some things that I felt like I could have put into the video. But we will make sure to uh, end wherever we are now. And then uh, that's how we're kind of going to finish this video. So let's go ahead and see what else we can get into. Enemy spotted. Oh, shit. oh shit. All right, let's open this door again. What? <laughs> they started to run in the corner. You see that? That's the bullshit. That day, that desk ain't going to help you. There's something wrong with Paul. Cornon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. 9 out of 13. This should be 10 out of 13. Let's quickly skim through all of this. No need to read it at this point, but go ahead and pause it when you feel f when you feel like you should need. We have three more narrative objects left. They should be in this area, and then we should be golden for this video. Let's quickly take a a nice little peruse around the area, see what we can find. Now these blue, now these like. These kind of, uh, like, blue circles on my map. I'm not quite sure if those are, like, time fragments that we can use to, like, upgrade our character. Or, uh, or what. But there's no way for me to get to those. And that kind of frustrates me. I feel like we're gonna, we're, we're gonna meet Paul here. And this ain't gonna be good. Yeah. Jack. You have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! 
All right, well, let's see. We have two more narrative objects left. I read. I'm like quickly skimming through all of those as I'm like rolling, uh, scrolling them down. A lot of them pertain to where Liam Burke is, or uh, kind of what he's doing. Because in the TV show, in the Quantum Break TV show, uh, the first episode is focused heavily on Liam, and uh, or at least from from the the story I had chosen, uh, it's focused heavily on on what Liam's doing and his whereabouts and what he is doing uh, to kind of move against what Monarch is doing. Let's see here. Now we have to catch Serene. I'm actually going to end the video here. I think this is a pretty decent place to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like guys, subscribe, share the video because every little bit of support helps and I will say this till the end of time in every single video. Every little bit of support helps and it truly means the world to me no matter how big or how small the support is or the love that you guys show. It all means the world to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If there's something that you didn't enjoy in the video, let me know in the comment section down below so I can improve for my next video. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.